First reading, Numbers chapter 21 verse 4 to 9. And they marched from Mount Hor, by the way that ledeth to the Red Sea, to compass the land of Edom. And the people began to be weary of their journey and labor. And speaking against God and Moses, they said, Why didst thou bring us out of Egypt, to die in the wilderness? There is no bread, nor have we any waters, our soul now lotate this very light food. Wherefore the Lord sent among the people fiery serpents, which bit them and killed many of them. Upon which they came to Moses, and said, We have sinned, because we have spoken against the Lord and thee, pray that he may take away these serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said to him, Make brazen serpent, and set it up for a sign, whosoever being struck shall look on it, shall live. Moses therefore made a brazen serpent, and set it up for a sign, which when they that were bitten looked upon, they were healed. Psalm, Psalms chapter 102 verse 2 to 3, 16 to 21. Hear, O Lord, my prayer, and let my cry come to thee. Turn not away thy face from me, in the day when I am in trouble, incline thy ear to me. In what day soever I shall call upon thee, hear me speedily. And the Gentiles shall fear thy name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. For the Lord hath built up Zion, and he shall be seen in his glory. He hath had regard to the prayer of the humble, and he hath not despised their petition. Let these things be written unto another generation, and the people that shall be created shall praise the Lord. Because he hath looked forth from his high sanctuary, from heaven the Lord hath looked upon the earth. That he might hear the groans of them that are in fetters, that he might release the children of the slain. Gospel, John chapter 8, verse 21 to 30. Again therefore Jesus said to them, I go, and you shall seek me, and you shall die in your sin. Whither I go, you cannot come. The Jews therefore said, Will he kill himself, because he said, Whither I go, you cannot come? And he said to them, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. Therefore I said to you, that you shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sin. They said therefore to him, Who art thou? Jesus said to them, The beginning, who also speak unto you. Many things I have to speak and to judge of you. But he that sent me, is true, and the things I have heard of him, these same I speak in the world. And they understood not, that he called God his Father. Jesus therefore said to them, When you shall have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall you know, that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself, but as the Father hath taught me, these things I speak. And he that sent me, is with me, and he hath not left me alone, for I do always the things that please him. When he spoke these things, many believed in him.